name's Eve Kalinic. I'm a nutritional therapist and an author, and I specialise in gut health. I guess gut health and nutrition found me rather than the other way around. I did have a previous career in fashion, in PR and editorial for around 13 years, and essentially the job kind of burnt me out. And through that experience, that life experience, I kind of went searching for answers myself and ended up seeing a functional medical practitioner and learned about nutrition and then decided I was gonna retrain myself. So here I am 11, 12 years later and I have my own clinical practice and I've written two books around gut health. What we feed our hair is really, really important to provide it with the building blocks it needs to be healthy and strong. So if we're not getting that through our diet, then that can compromise the health of our hair. There definitely can be gaps in the diet that can impact on our hair. So for instance, if we're not eating enough protein, because hair is essentially protein and so a lot of people even if they're falling mildly short of their protein intake that can compromise their hair. In terms of hair health though I think there's a lot to be said about oily fish which would be salmon, mackerel, sardines, anchovies because they contain both protein and omega-3s which are really key nutrients for our hair health. So a typical day for me isn't necessarily always typical. I do have a clinical practice, so I make sure that I see clients on specific days, two to three days a week, but the rest of my time is doing things like writing articles. I also consult with a few brands. I tutor for the Guardian newspaper, so I do classes for them. And I also have a podcast, so I'm busy doing that. So I do have quite a few different projects. I did really want to grow my hair, but I, I'm impatient with it. And as I'm now in my mid forties, my hair doesn't grow quite as quickly as it used to. So I actually have got extensions at the moment, but what that's really allowed my own hair to do is, is not be overstyled or a lot of heat products on it because I'm only washing it once a week. So the long term aim is to remove the extensions and just have my normal hair, but they have helped my hair in this process. I have a lot of hair, but the hair itself is thin, so it tends to frizz. So frizziness was always my main concern. I do think that products can play a really pivotal role in your hair health, but I also think it's about the food we're eating in our diet, as well as lifestyle factors like sleep and stress. I think they're major factors that are often underplayed when it comes to uh, looking at the health of our hair.